some of momentum of a system in a collision. Let's look at this example. Two balls of mass 4 kg and 2 kg respectively, moving in the same direction in a straight line. The velocity of the ball at the back is 3 m per second, higher than the velocity of the ball in front. If the ball at the back move faster than the ball in front, and both of the balls are moving in a straight line, collision will happen. After collision, the balls move at 1 meter per second and 6 meter per second respectively. Let's calculate the momentum of the balls before and after collision. Before collision, the momentum of the 4 kg ball is 4 kg times 3 meter per second equal to 12 kg meter per second. By using the same equation, we can find the momentum of the 2 kg ball which is equal to 4 kg meter per second. The sum of momentum before collision is 12 plus 4 equal to 16 kg meter per second. How about after the collision? The momentum of the 4 kg ball became 4 kg meter per second, while the momentum of the 2 kg ball became 12 kg meter per second, and the sum of momentum is 16 kg meter per second. Well, we can see that the sums of momentum before and after collisions are equal. In scientific term, we say the momentum is conserved after the collision. The word conserve means remain unchanged. Sum of momentum before the collision is equal to the sum of momentum after the collision. This is the physics concept that we are going to discuss in the principle of conservations of momentum. Principle of conservations of momentum. Principle of conservations of momentum states that in a system made up of objects that react, the sum of momentum is constant if no external force is act upon the system. The reactions can be collisions or explosion. The word constant means remain unchanged. In other words, in the collisions or explosions, if no external force act upon the system, the sum of the momentum before the collision or explosions will be equal to the sum of momentum after the collisions or explosion. In SPM, there are a few things that you need to know about this principle of conservations of momentum. First, you need to remember this statement because in exam, you may be asked to state this principle of conservations of momentum. Second, you need to know the equation that describes this principle of conservations of momentum and its applications in elastic collision, in elastic collisions, and explosion. Third, you need to know the difference between elastic and inelastic collision. Fourth, you need to know the applications of principle of conservations of momentum in rocket and jet A plan. Let's begin with the equation. Equation. If two balls of mass M1 and M2 collide with each other, the velocity before the collision is U1 and U2, while the velocity after the collision is V1 and V2, respectively, then the sum of momentum before the collision will be M1 U1 plus M2 U2, while the sum of momentum after the collision is M1 V1 plus M2 V2. According to the principle of conservations of momentum, the sum of momentum before reactions equal to the sum of momentum after reaction. Therefore, M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. We can use this equation to solve almost all the problems involving collisions or explosion in SPM physics. How to solve the numerical problems? In SPM, Almost all the numerical problems related to collisions and explosions can be solved by the principle of conservations of momentum. Let's look at this example. The diagram shows two objects P and Q of mass 1 kg and 2 kg which are about to collide. Given that object P moves at 1 meter per second after the collision, find the velocity of Q after the collision. We know that a question related to collision can be solved by the equations of principle of conservations of momentum, M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. When solving numerical problems, the first thing that we need to do is to list down all the information that we have. Listing down all given information is an important step. Don't 
ever try to skip this. The mass M1 is 1 kg, M2 is 2 kg. The initial velocity U1 is 4 meter per second and U2 is 1 meter per second. Oops, wait a minute. This 1 meter per second is not correct. Well, we must be very careful when writing the value of the velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Velocity is negative if the object moves in opposite directions. In this case, Q moves in the opposite direction. Therefore, U2 is negative 1 meter per second but not 1 meter per second. After the collision, the velocity V1 becomes 1 meter per second and we are asked to find the velocity of Q. Plug in these numbers into the equation. M1 is 2 kg, U1 is 4 meter per second, M2 is 1 kg, U2 is negative 1 meter per second, M1 is 2, V1 is 1, and M2 is 2. Clean up the equation, we get 8 minus 1 equals 2 plus V2. Therefore, V2 is equal to 5 meter per second. The velocity of Q is positive. These positive values of Q shows that it moved to the right after the collision.